is up you guys Megan here with another video for this video it's a little bit different we love switching it up usually I just do a reaction for you guys I honestly wanted to try something new because I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit burned out from reactions I don't know switch up the content so here we go but if you clicked on this video, you were either not subscribed to me or you're just interested in starting your own YouTube channel. So before jumping into all of my tips and tricks on how to start a YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. So YouTube does know to recommend this video to other people that also might be interested. Yeah, this is a little businessy type. I should have worn like a coat or something to make me more like official. I got my laptop here. Clearly if you clicked on this video you're either thinking about it or you just want to listen to my tips and tricks. Many of you know if you have been subscribed to me I've been posting on this channel for about three over three years now so it's been quite a while and I have learned a lot so I'm here to tell you all of the secrets. Yes let's get into it. Tip number one is kind of broad, but it's do it for the right reason. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, make sure that you're actually doing it for the right reason and not just to get that quick fame or just to see if you can like go viral the first video because I'm here to tell you that is not going to happen. Usually it takes quite a while and a lot of videos and a lot of uploads until you start making it onto the recommended because people are just uploading videos on YouTube like crazy. I mean, I'm talking about like crazy. So if you stand a chance against any of them, you honestly have to have the right intention and the right goal behind it, which is just starting a YouTube channel for the sake of enjoying it. You like making content, you are interested in the content that you're making, and you like editing, you like filming. Maybe if you're into a particular style of video, if you want to do more of like a documentary style, if you want to do more like skits, more entertainment, then that's all on you, but you want to make sure that you're doing it for the right reason and not just to try and get that one hit wonder because I will assure you I have been there done that I have tried everything and nothing has worked because there's just way too much competition tip number two is kind of getting into the same thing more of the technical stuff but also similar to what I was saying you need to pick a niche that you are truly interested in now YouTube usually categorizes videos according to niche so this can be categorized from video titles this can be categorized with video tags comments what type of content you're putting out there so if you're more consistent in one genre the more chance youtube will be recommending your videos to other people that would be interested in that genre for example i have a reaction channel if I start posting fashion videos and the algorithm thinks that I am now a fashion channel or it gets confused, it may not recommend those videos as much. So I would say right whenever you're starting a YouTube channel to try and pick a niche because that is probably the best way to ensure that you are going to really stay in your lane and really get recommended for those types of videos. So find things that you're passionate about, find things that you really can talk about, find things that you find entertaining fun to do you really can spend hours and time on it and stick with that and that should be your niche you can of course go a little bit broader and you can pick like two to three niches but I would honestly like stay away from doing way too many like random things I feel like the time for YouTube now is very very specific there was a time in like 2013 2014 when you could basically get away with anything you could post anything and as long as you had somewhat of an internet personality you could post any content and get away with it I started my channel around 2017 2018 and that's when you really had to start picking up a niche so that's tip number two don't forget about your niche tip number three again is kind of in the same area it is post a lot you literally need to be posting a lot I think that on average you have to post at least three to four or five videos before you even start to get like pushed even the smallest amount so if you post your first video and it gets like five views be happy with those five views because I guarantee that most people probably won't even get one view it actually does take a while so 
you gotta post a lot. I would recommend starting with posting at least five videos and then seeing how that does, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. Maybe a couple of videos hit the 100 mark, some videos just hit the 10 mark. It might be all over the place at first, but I would definitely recommend posting a lot and you have to post consistently. Tip number four is picking a username that you actually like. So maybe if you're comfortable with using your name or your full name, you might wanna try that out. I obviously didn't get the memo because I made this YouTube channel in 2014. I didn't post on it. I kind of just made up a random username in 2014 and I stuck with it and then I started posting on tw in 2017, 2018 and that's when I realized, oh, I should probably have used something with my name. From personal experience, I'm telling you that's probably the one thing that I would go back and change. Of course, you can change your username now. I can change it right now, but I already have a following and I already have gained some subscribers so I feel like changing it now is going to might change up the algorithm a little bit might change up how my channel is integrated with the platform a little bit yeah that's my tip make sure you pick a username that will definitely represent your brand what you're going for your content I wish I could go back and change it and tell myself this advice so I'm telling you guys instead. Tip number five is kind of a vague tip, but it's just to come up with a list of ideas and in relation to your niche. If you're not really sure what your niche is, then I would come up with a list of ideas that you really enjoy making and you like making that type of content. Edit those videos and then post it and see which one does the best and kind of go along with that. If you are going into the social media game with a business mind, I would definitely recommend making a list of ideas that you're truly passionate about if you don't know your particular niche. Number six is the editing process. I used iMovie for the longest time. I tried out Movie Maker at first because I didn't have a Mac and it honestly worked the same as iMovie. Whether you have a PC or a Mac, usually the software comes along with it. So I would recommend checking those two out before you go out and you buy any software. Of course, now I use Final Cut Pro, but at first, for a very, very, very long time, I used iMovie and it worked perfectly well. And I probably made over 100 videos, if not more, with iMovie itself. So it's not a bad software. Number seven is SEO. Now, I could honestly make an entire video on this, so I'm gonna keep this kind of brief, but YouTube pays attention to your titles your tags, and your descriptions. You wanna make sure that you have keywords in each of those sections and you come up with good tags so that it can boost up your SEO. I know for a fact that I didn't really do this at the beginning because I didn't know how to, but you wanna pay attention to SEO because that's the only way that YouTube knows how and where to recommend your videos. Yeah, it's a computer, so the only way that it's going to pick up anything is through these tags and through these like keywords. So like I said, I can do an entire video on just the stuff that I learned in terms of SEO if you guys would be interested just comment down below and I can definitely hit that don't forget about your SEO title description tags very important do your research use your keywords that's gonna give you the best possible scenario to go viral or potentially gain as many views as you possibly can because YouTube will recommend and will know who to recommend the videos to number eight is after you post your video, engage, engage, engage. Especially whenever you are first starting out, you wanna make sure that you engage with all of the comments, all of the people that are showing your video some love or even hate. You wanna make sure that you're engaging with those people because that shows YouTube that you are on the platform, you are using the platform actively. It will more likely push out those videos to different people if they know that you're using the platform actively. Engaging with the people not only will probably make them subscribe, it will also probably make YouTube share the videos. Either way, it's a very good tip to hold on to, especially when you're starting out. Going along with that is tip number nine, comment on other people's channels. I did this a lot when I was first starting out and I honestly found out that it was a very very like quick way to find your audience and find people that would support you. YouTube is huge. So you can't expect to kind of grow without a community, without like socializing with other channels that are similar to your niche. Obviously now as I've grown, I've kind of slowed down on that. But before I used to comment on things that I was very, very passionate about. So even when I posted like a lifestyle video, if you go down all the way down on my channel, you're gonna see that the first couple of videos were actually lifestyle videos. And I commented on other lifestyle beauty YouTubers. I built a community that way. Of course, I did end up going that down that path because as you can tell 
I'm not much of a beauty girl and I'm not much of like a fashion expert. Just comment here and there in your community. Try to engage with other people that are similar to your channel and you should be good to go. Tip number 10 is a little bit, it's a little bit like cheesy but don't be afraid to fail i honestly am telling you it took me a long time to even build it to this much in general i feel like nobody's ever happy you always want to get like the next number the next level you want to level up however at first it's going to be it's going to be rough i'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it so don't be afraid of like failing if you honestly are doing it for the right reasons which leads me back to tip number one if you're passionate about it you like making content you like making videos you like editing you like all of those processes you honestly should be fine you just need to continue trying and going for it and even if you don't get it like right away you eventually will so don't give up don't give up that's that's my like last final say is that don't give up like you're gonna have to try hard and that's just the way it is but don't give up those are all my tips and tricks on how to start a youtube channel i hope you guys enjoyed them i know they were kind of general but i can go into more specifics if you want me to like the seo and all that kind of stuff just comment down below like i said don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like i mentioned before this really helps youtube know to recommend this video to other people that also might be interested don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and yeah that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!